Hello, this is Mr. Bacon Bits, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected. Last time, we, uh, well, we crash-landed onto the Vianna's shoulder and made our way over to Companion's Cape, where we found out that there's something mysterious going on in Alchemoth. So we're going to try to figure that out. But before moving on, there are a couple of things I want to make note of, though. First off, I am keeping expert mode off because the way they balanced, like, getting levels and stuff with all of the side quests and stuff, it's a lot more balanced. So I can just, like, keep doing side quests and pretty much stay at the level that I need to. So expert mode isn't really needed. And also, I want to take a look at the shop that is over here. Because we do have some uh, outfits that we Hi, should Dad. be looking at. We don't really have much gold, but we might as well look check anyway. For weapons, we've got the official staff for Melia. The seed blammer for Kino and the Madcap Stopper for Nene. These are all upgrades from what we already have, but let's look at armors before buying them, considering we have low gold. We have Brave Cap for Shulk and Melia, Stellar Gear for Shulk and Melia, Beanstalk Hair Tie for Kino, and Chic Ribbon for Nene. Next is Brave Top and Stellar Armor for Shulk and Melia. Beanstalk Vest for Kino. And Sheik Plate for Nene. Are you seeing a pattern here? Next are Brave Gloves and Stellar Gauntlets for Shulk and Melia. Beanstalk Amulet for Kino. And Sheik Amulet for Nene. Next is Brave Bottoms. And Stellar Leggings for Shulk and Melia. Beanstalk Knapsack for Kino. And Sheik Knapsack for Nene. Finally, Brave Shoes and Stellar Boots for Melia and Shulk. Beanstalk Anklet for Kino. And Sheik Anklet for Nene. As I said before, we don't really have much money right now, so we might as well come back later. Now, we do have a couple of side quests we can do, but I would like to check out the quiet moment that's down south this way. It requires Shulk and Nene. Yeah, here we go. Quiet moment. All grown up. Let's take a look at it. Brother Sister Pon, hope they're not giving Mama Pon too much trouble, Buckets. Nene, there you are. Something the matter? Kino's been looking for you. Something about stubbing his toe? Little Pon, never change. Nene will run back later and go, there, there. <laughs> You're a good sister, Nene. Or maybe more like a mum. By the way, what were you doing out here, Nene? Nene being reminiscing about Frontier Village, tiny bit. I see. So, that's where you were living before? Yep. In past, Nene always adventured into Magna Forest with Brother Sister Pond and climbed trees every day. I assume you were the responsible one then. That silly question. 
Knock on boys, all good for nothing lazy bones. It all too much for Mama Pon to handle, so Nene have to help take care of brother Sister Pon and Dad Pon all for long. <laughs> I wonder what Ricky would have to say to that. Dad Pon, after he'd chosen for Village Hero Pon, has set off on great adventure with Mr. Shaw. Has become Turtle Pigsty, hungry little Pon underfoot everywhere. Wow, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait, was this after Ricky joined us? So that must mean... Yep. Before Nene become friends with Mr. Shulk and friends here, we actually meet one year ago back in Frontier Village. Dadapon! Stomach bumbly bumbly! Dadapon! Need food! Dadapon! Give crap! You're kidding. I'm sorry. I feel kind of bad about this now. Though, in my defense, you've really grown. It's almost like you're a whole different Nopon. In Nopon biology, age between 10 and 15 often experience growth spurt. That why, when compare Nene now and Nene one year ago, it's not too surprising if not realize they the same person. It's still quite a surprise. I never knew that a Nopon could grow that much in a single year. <laughs> now Mr. Shog No can rely on post-growth spurt Nene more than ever. <laughs> we can always count on Nopon. Us Homs could learn a lot from you. But Nene had these moments lately when get teeny bit lonely. Hmm? Ah, poor Hom Hom. Mr. Shulk, such chow hound. Uh, I don't think that was me. Nay, nay, prepare some grub. Tooth sweet. Now, now, Mr. Shulk, go Coquino and Miss Melia and tell to wash up. Really, that's. Hmm. We thought she was so grown up for always taking care of Kino. But really, she's just a kid. No wonder she's lonely. Mr. Shulk, something happened? Tell me too rumbly to move, or what? Wait, I've got it. Mama? I'll round up all the others. Then after, we can all chip in with a meal. It'll be more fun that way. Mr. Shulk... ...would not say no. So Nopon under undergo a gr pretty much a massive growth spurt between 10 and 15. I wonder what causes Nopon to grow even bigger. Kind of looking at Bana from another universe. Anyway, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start the quests. Uh, first one... Oh, new item there. That's another thing that I, pu that I put in that you saw in the previous video. Whenever I gather a new item, I'm going to basically be showing the Collectopedia just briefly for the, um, for the item. Uh, what we are doing is getting this guy's, Lenar's side quest. Huh? Need something? If you do, well, I'm busy. Can it wait? Ah, uh, no. Wait, I spoke too soon. Actually, I would like you to ask to perform some tasks for me. I would not normally reach out to strangers such as yourselves, but there is a limit to what I can achieve myself. I've received requests for assistance from some of the younger companions, and I'd like you to resolve their issues. They should not prove too difficult, yet the volume of work was high, so I was feeling quite harried. Could you go into more detail? Kido wanted to ask too! First, Gwynneth's request, which pertains to gathering plump wild grass. It has gotten rarer lately, hence the task of picking it is more taxing than it once was. Second, Fadeless's job of winnowing the praying caterpillar population. These in turn grew more and more numerous until their numbers needed culling. 
Thirdly, the request from Loban, who was tasked with handling a number of noble brogs. Those critters have also been breeding too much for our liking and need a little population control. Gather five lots of plump wild grass, subdue three praying caterpiles, as well as two noble brogs. I would be grateful if you could undertake those three jobs for me, if it's not too much, ask, too much to ask, of course. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We can actually get the wild grass near where Junk's crash landed. Very good, then. I shall let you get the details of each mission from the concerned parties. No problem, leave it to me. Yep, okay. Only because you've got my back, Nene. Also, another thing. Whenever I accept a quest, I'm going to have this thing pop up towards the top left of the screen, which shows any active quests that I have available. So whenever I finish a quest, that's not going to be showing up anymore. I'm going to go ahead and accept the other quest here while we're at it. Hey. Hello there. How would you feel about assisting in my research? Come on, come now, don't make those faces. It's an easy task, I swear. I'll take the grimace as a happily, ma'am, shall I? See, I've developed this tool for explo exploiting ether deposits, a common ether pick, if you will, and I'd like you to test it out. Hmm? You're still looking uncertain, struck dumb by my apparent genius. Oh, of course, you're used to being able to mine ether deposits on the Bionis with run-of-the-mill tools, aren't you? Well, that won't work here on the Bionis' shoulder. The deposits are too dense, so you'll need specialized imp implement, i.e. this. Previous iterations of the ether pick were pretty heavy machinery, though, requiring training and a license to operate. So, to cut through the rigmarole, I looked into developing one that even lay people like you could use f right from the off. If you prove me right, I'll even let you keep it once you're done. How about it? Okay. Uh. Alright. Ex excavate an ether deposit using the common ether pick. Oh, well, I got one right there. Oh, you'll do it? Well, that's just grand. See, I made the thing, so it wouldn't mean anything if I only tested it myself. Thanks. I used to have an assistant helping me, but they seemed dissatisfied for some reason and ran off before I knew it. Right. Can't imagine why. Just mosey on up to an ether deposit, heft the common ether pick, and use it to give the deposit a good whack. Do let me know how you get on. Alright. So, let's see how this works. According to Karina, I just he I just heft the pick and give the ether deposit a good whack. All right, let's see what the common ether pick can do for us. Uh, sounds like it broke. Huh? What was that supposed to happen? Well... Hmm, maybe it's malfunctioned. We should let Kevin L know about this. That's bad. All right. Thanks for that. I have to say, I didn't expect it to break so easily, though. Right, give it here for a minute. I see, I see. So the problem is durability. All right. Due to the higher ether density on the Bionis' shoulder, it seems it crystallizes into a form that's perfect for gems. Just reinforcing the pick isn't likely to improve the yield in practice. Thank you all. This has been a valuable learning opportunity. I feel like I can take my research to the next level now. I did want you to have the common ether pick as thanks, but now that it's broken, it won't really do, will it? Well, that's too bad. I'll just have to give you the old retail model instead. Like I said, it's got its kinks, so it requires a trained hand, but it's better than nothing, right? You should be able to use it to harvest decently high purity gems from all around the shoulder. Saves you time crafting. Alright. Already got a quest finished. And for that, we can now... Uh, is there going to be a thing? Okay, yes. Crystal deposits on the shoulder now outright give gems instead of just crystals. So there's no more gem crafting in this little uh, epilogue story. Every time we come to a new ether deposit, I will show the types of gems you can get from them. Uh, such as this one. As we progress through the story, we may be able to obtain a more efficient ether pick, and with a better ether pick, you could mine gems of higher rank. Unfortunately, you cannot get level 6 gems. 
I don't know if you can get level 5 gems either. I'm gonna have to uh, look at my notes again. But yes, I'll just go ahead and show the list of gems that you can get from this thing. Okay, actually got a couple of gems right there, so I'm gonna go ahead and use them real quick. There's also another ether deposit here. I figured I might as well uh, cover this one as well. It's just south of the Companion's Cape. So part of what we need is over towards Junks, but I'm going to head down this way because... Okay, Magna X. I'm heading down this way because there is an ether deposit at the end of this little valley here. Yeah, right here. It's right over here. Okay, Navir Crossroads. We've arrived at the clearing where all of our uh, objectives for that quest are. Let's go ahead and do some slaying and collecting, shall we? Okay, we finished all of the objectives for Linaire, so let's go ahead and uh, finish the job by talking to him. Huh? Ah, you again. I've heard back from Gwyneth and the rest. I'm glad their issues were resolved. While I have your ear, there, here's something I realized earlier. It's quite possible that the catapiles gather to eat the plump wild grass, and the brogs to eat the catapiles. Seeing as how you've taken out the catapiles and brogs, the wild grass might come back come back sometime soon. We'll have some food shortages to grapple with until then, but that is that is my problem. Lucky for everyone, then, that you've won me some breathing room, eh? Yeah? yeah, thank you for the help. We're all in your debt. And sorry for looking down my nose at you all. That wasn't exactly gracious. Okay. Lenar's worries, which also included three quests, are done. All right, so with that done, it looks like that's everything, right? But if we change tonight, there are two more quests here as well. 
Uh, let's go ahead and grab this one right here. Hey. Have you come here across Nevir Highland? Then you must have met those ether-based organisms along the way. I speak of the common monsters composed entirely of ether. These ether organisms have appeared all, all across Nevir Highland re recently, and in large numbers too. There must be at least two points they're spawning from, as their exact properties differ based on location. Anyway, I'm concerned. When these organisms gather, they create a strong ether field that attracts other monsters. If you haven't seen them spawn yourself, it's possible that there is some prerequisite of it to it happening that we're not aware of. If you notice a flock of these organisms in your travels, I'd like you to—I'd like to ask you to eliminate them with all haste. Okay. So we need to take down three wind and three water elementals at Nivir Highland. Sounds like a plan. Thank you very much. Actually, it's my little brother who told me all about this. He vowed to take matters into his own hands if the situation did not improve on its own. But as his sister, I'd prefer that he not put himself in harm's way. I'm sorry to trouble you all, but I hope you understand this is for the common good. Fortune be with you. Okay. So before we head off on doing that, let's go ahead and grab this one over by the uh, ether deposit. Yes. Hey, Hamlet. Hamlin. I know it is no business of mine to be asking outsiders, but would you consider assisting us with a hunt? Some of our people sustained injuries while out on the last one, leaving us somewhat short-staffed. Could you go into more detail? Go down from here in the direction of the lake, and you'll arrive at Nivir Highland. There you should find some Magna X. We were able to lure them out with bait not long ago. Would it trouble you to defeat them and collect some X iron hearts for us? Once you've finished, be sure to lay some bait to the west of Nivir Highland. They won't congregate if we don't coax them out, and our hunters could do with the assistance. X are quite partial to rainbow carrots. It would spare us a great deal of effort if you were to find some for us. Okay. So, we need four X Iron Hearts from Magna X in the same area. I hope it's not too much trouble to ask all this for you, but we'd really greatly appreciate it if you could find the time. No problem, leave it to me. Okay. So. We just have to head over this way. In fact, let's just... Let's just skip travel. Alright. So, we need to take down these nebulas, as well as get some X iron hearts. Um... I'll just do another, uh... Yeah, I'll just do another montage. Okay, got the X Iron Hearts. So now I just need some Rainbow Carrots. Got them all. And then we just place them here. Looks like this is the place. Alright. That quest is done. Now I just need to do the, uh, the Elementals.
All right, we have finished both quests, and let's go ahead and turn them in. Yes? So you've returned with the ex-Ironhearts. My thanks. These are to revitalize our injured warriors. They may be hard to stomach, but their powerful medicinal properties are sure to expedite the healing process. And since you've laid out the bait, our next round of hunting should be relatively painless. We're very much indebted to you this day. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Now, let's go ahead and turn this in. Hey. It's blue because I had it set as active. My little brother tells me the Aether Organization system is under control now. Organism situation is under control now. It's thanks to you, isn't it? Thank you. And that was it. <laughs> okay. Anemone Brim D and Princess Dress D. Nice. This irregular spawning incident is only one of the many unexplained phenomena we've encountered here on the shoulder. All of us living here have to keep our wits about us if we want to preserve our peace. Right. So, with all of that, we've got all of the quests that are in the Companion's Cape so far. So, all we have to do is press onward towards the east. But, that's actually going to do it for this video. Yeah, sorry I didn't really do much, but kind of... Time caught a kind of got ahead of me so yeah next time we shall be we shall uh maybe start heading eastward so this has been mr bacon bits with xenoblade chronicles future connected i have to rem remember to say that and this will be back i totally screwed up that outro but whatever <laughs>